ask you again. When you are a founder, the new people that comes to your family, you are supposed to train them how you want them to work Bigo. Am I right? I'm going to say it again. When you are a founder, you are supposed to train your family members how you want them to work Bigo. It ain't enough, I hear you. I'm going to say it again. When you are a founder, y'all motherfuckers scared of him? I'm just saying. If you are a founder, you are supposed to train your newcomers on how you want them to work Bigo because it works for you. Am I right? Okay, I thought I was right. <laughs> I, just, I just wanna know was I right? Yeah. But instead, you got pics of who you wanna fuck with. You got pics of who you wanna fuck with. And all them pics so far that you have picked, where they at now? They not with your family. So that should tell you something. That should tell you you need to go another route in picking your people because you're not picking the right people to be your CEO, to be your whatever, your producer, whatever the fuck you want to call them. If you ain't got your CEOs and they all done left, drop that edge. What do they tell you? You picking the wrong goddamn set of people. Reevaluate what you're doing so you can prosper better. Because what you did to me today was wrong. How you mishandled me and mistreated me today was wrong. And I believe deep down in your heart that you know that. I really do believe that. I really do. But if you did all this because you didn't want to pay me my... You owe me more than a dragon. If y'all look on my contribution list on the overall, y'all really can see what he owe. He owe me more than a dragon. But since he says a dragon, I'll accept the dragon. And no, don't kick nobody out of my life. I don't give a fuck. I don't care who it is, ex-family or no family. Because them folks ain't did a goddamn thing to me. Nobody has did nothing to me but shy shy. And bitch, if I ever get to see you in real life, I would stomp a goddamn hole so far up your motherfucking neck, bitch. You wouldn't even breathe no more. And I wish I knew where you stayed at, bitch. I'ma say it again. I believe he had, I believe he sent her over there to do that. Because he knew he owed it me. And he knew I snap. I believe he did that on purpose. Cause out of the woodwork, she come over there with some off the wall shit, y'all. She come over there with something furthest from the truth. And then in the panel, everybody starts talking about I owe them. Ain't no goddamn well I don't owe them. And then it bitch certified talking about she just dropped on me on my auto rebate. She owed me. I'm going to get my... Bitch, you drop what you owed it, you stupid motherfucker. You the slowest motherfucker over there, bitch. I don't expect for you to catch on what's going on. You going to be the last one standing. That's how dumb you is.
That bitch that saw then goddamn lied. She lied on me, girl. Don't sit there talking about I owe her. No damn well, she just, it wasn't even 20 minutes from an auto rebate that she came and dropped what she owed on me. And then she go right over there on that panel with the rest of them, all of them hollering back. She owe me, she owe me, bitch. You all know damn well I don't owe y'all stupid, ignorant motherfuckers. Nothing. She done saw that and told that motherfucking lie, man. A straight bald face lie. And I got the goddamn, I got the motherfucking screenshot to prove that she said she didn't fucking say that. She thought I wasn't in there, but I was. Bitch, I heard you. Your slow, stupid ass. Asking the same question a different way. Dumb motherfucker. Hey, this is what I want y'all to do. Go to my contribution list. Somebody do that right now, and I want y'all to come in and put these motherfucking numbers in my goddamn, in, 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 in this motherfucking uh, comments. Go to my contribution list and look at bartender, man. Go to overall. Go to his and go to mine and see who owe who. That's what y'all fucking do. Then go to the next one. See who owe who. The fuck? And the ones I do own ain't even in the family. And they, they told me I don't have to give back. The fuck? You think I didn't go ask them people? I don't like owing nobody shit. I pay all my shit. Never ever will a motherfucker ever say I owe them or they owe me. You got me fucked up. You owe me, bitch. I don't need to live my life like that, y'all. Y'all know how I live my life. If I can't buy that motherfucker, get where it's at. It's gonna stay where it's at. If I can't buy it, I don't want it. The fuck? So why would I come on be gonna do it different? Why would I come on be gonna do it different, y'all? Just ask that question. I follow you back, baby. I've been in this family. For what? Five, six months? I ain't got but two checks. And them motherfuckers were 50. It, it, I made 50K. I'm not prospering this family. But if you look at my goddamn contribution list, you'll see everything I done gave out. I said, it was so bad when I first came on here. Them motherfuckers were telling me I looked like a fucking gifter. So I had to literally pay some, send somebody cash out so they can fucking straighten my goddamn numbers out for me. And not only that, do y'all know people, I've been cash apping motherfuckers on this app. Because all they got to do is ask me for it. My dumb ass, okay. You know why I do that? Because I enjoy helping people. And they know that. I enjoy putting smiles on people's face. I enjoy getting people out of situation that they're in. That's what I do in real life. That's what I do. I help people. I always have and I always will. And if y'all think I'm lying, I'll take a screenshot of my goddamn cash app and show it to you. I will show it to you. Oh, God always watching. You best believe. He always watching. God always watching. The fuck? I go broke helping people. Because I always got something to fall back on. One thing y'all need to do, don't never buy nothing you can't motherfucking sell. Understand me? Don't never buy a goddamn thing you can't motherfucking sell. You'll never be in debt if you do that. The fuck? I don't buy shit I can't sell. From the refrigerator to the sofas to the goddamn bar to the everything. I don't buy a goddamn thing I can't sell. And y'all already know I got a nice house. Y'all already know that. I ain't got to keep showing it. Y'all already know. Y'all already know what I'm hitting with. Y'all already know. You done seen it. Shit. I done took you on tours. You know it. And this ain't the only one. The fuck? <coughs> but bartender, how you did me? 
I believe you know you were wrong. You know you were wrong. You knew you were dead wrong. You knew you were wrong. Deep down in your motherfucking soul, you knew you were wrong. And if you got family member over here in my live now, if they was halfway fucking decent, you would go over there and tell that man to bring my money. If you were halfway decent. Because soon as Shasha Sha ran out with my soon as Shasha ran out with my money, that motherfucker ain't been back on Bigo. Trust me, y'all. I'm here to tell you. I'm trying to teach y'all some shit now. He know he were wrong. Your grandbaby smoked my baby. <laughs> he know he were wrong. He know it. He know in his heart he was wrong. He know it. You can't take half of the goddamn, half of what I was saying and think it's the truth and, and make your own perception of it. When you didn't hear from the beginning to the end. You can't do that. You can't even live life like that. You can't live life in the middle. Am I right, y'all? You can't live life in the middle. I mean, you can't be half dead and think you popping. Come on now. It, that that, that, got, that got to make some type of sense. And I still love bartender. I still ain't got nothing against him. I still go drop on him. I sure will. <laughs> I drop on their whole family. I don't give a fuck. Shit, cause out of sight, out of mind. And hell, if I ain't in it, I don't remember it. <laughs> Shit. I don't remember none of them motherfuckers that the family that I was in before. I don't remember you motherfuckers. So I might be goddamn gifting them. Shit, I don't know. Hell yeah. It is what it is. But Barton knew he was wrong and he knew exactly what he was doing. But he just sat over there in that live and told everybody he was gonna bring me my goddamn tin, my uh dragon, and he ain't brought it yet. And I've been on this live for almost how long? Hold on. An hour and thirty three minutes, and he ain't brought it yet. He ain't brought it. But I knew he wouldn't. That's the fourth peer person that done took from me on this app. The first three, I don't even see them on the app no more. I don't even see them on the app no more. So you think he's an exception? Do y'all really think bartender finna be an exception from taking money from my kids? Do y'all really think he finna be a, an exception? Y'all motherfucker got another thing coming. Watch and see what I tell you now. Watch and see what I tell you now. Back on it. And when it happened, don't y'all come running back to me to my purple mom, you were right. <laughs> don't y'all come running back to me saying that shit. Cause I'm telling you, ain't nothing good finna come out of this. Cause you don't took my money. You took my money from my grandbabies. That's what you did. That's what you done did. Mm-hmm. You did. Mm-hmm. You did. Yeah. Absolutely. You did. You did that. <laughs> you did that, boo. You did that. But I guarantee it's a lot of motherfuckers on this app that went through it. I know it. I know it have. I know it have. If y'all not going to respond, y'all can get out the live. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to get it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get it now. You best believe that. You best believe that. I have never talked about bartender. I have never talked about this family. I have never did that. But I was venting yesterday, y'all, because I had a PK. And he can't say he didn't know about it. Because y'all, some of y'all was in here when Savage was on the phone. And y'all heard Savage say he was inboxing us yesterday. And he knew I had a PK and still didn't show up to throw me my motherfucking dragon. Y'all, half of y'all heard Savage when he said that. He knew I had a PK. 
Because all three of us was in the inbox talking. He knew I had a PK and then come throw me my shit. And gonna say, but because I didn't inbox him in his in, his personal inbox. Nigga, come up with another excuse. And I'm gonna say it again. I believe you sent Shy Shy over here to say that shit while I was venting. Because you knew I was gonna snap. And that was a way for you not to give me my over dragging back. Yeah, that was your way. That was your way. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but God got something more in store for you, boo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got you. Might not happen today. It might not happen tomorrow. It might not happen next week, motherfucker. But you're going to get it. And when you get it, I'm going to be the first motherfucker pop up in your head. And the rest of us that you treated like motherfucking dogs. We're going to be the first ones pop up in your fucking head. And you're going to be praying to God and wishing to God that one of us are praying for you. And guess what? It will be me. You know why? Because I don't believe you had the love that you needed in your motherfucking life. I'm following you back, baby.